As another Memorial Day weekend passes, our thoughts rightly turn to our veterans, to the heroes who have given the ultimate sacrifice so that we may continue to enjoy our way of life. This weekend should not be about beaches and barbecues and getting away. We ought to take the time to break away from our normal routines, to go to town memorials and to our local cemeteries, to read the names of those veterans buried there, and to pay tribute to those fallen heroes. They are the reason for the holiday. They should be honored and respected and most importantly, remembered. Our veterans, whether they are part of the ever dwindling greatest generation who fought in World War II, who served honorably for decades in the National Guard or Reserves, who fought in Korea or Vietnam, or are just now returning home from Afghanistan and other points of conflict, never stop serving our country. We in turn must never stop serving and honoring their sacrifices. I'm proud that Massachusetts leads the country in providing the best and most comprehensive services and benefits to our military veterans. This isn't political hyperbole. From the soldiers' homes in Holyoke and Chelsea to affordable rental housing for honorably discharged veterans, from various tax exemptions to financial assistance for continuing education opportunities, Massachusetts is rated first in the nation among all states in the provision of benefits to our veterans. In addition, each city and town has a designated veteran service officer who offers personalized assistance and guidance to veterans and their families. I was proud to recently play a role in providing more for our veterans by, by voting to pass the Massachusetts Veterans Housing, Operations, Military Service and Enrichment Act, also known as the HOME Act, which will enhance existing services for our veterans. This bill, among other things, will provide veterans enhanced protections against employment discrimination, more public housing opportunities, increased scholarship opportunities for all children of prisoners of war, exem exemption from automobile excise taxes for members of the military while they're serving on active duty outside of Massachusetts, and the abatement of property taxes owed by a surviving spouse of a veteran, among other things. This is a good bill, and I'm hopeful my colleagues in the Senate agree and also pass this legislation. Even if this bill passes, of course, we can and all should do more. At the very least, we can participate in our Memorial Day and Veterans Day parades and ceremonies. Or we can simply take the time to thank a veteran personally and listen to any stories he or she wants to share. However, we also have many, many more opportunities to honor and provide assistance to our veterans. Our veterans face unique challenges when they come home. After placing their lives in harm's way every day they are on active duty, our veterans always leave part of themselves with their brothers and sisters who remain on the battlefields. Many struggle with depression, anxiety, and other effects from post-traumatic stress disorder upon their return home. Groups like the Glenn Doherty Memorial Foundation, which exists to ease the transition from military life and work to that of a civilian by helping fund educational costs for special operation individuals and their children, can use our time and resources. The foundation sta stages a fundraising road race every year here in Winchester, in addition to conducting other fundraising activities to support its mission. Another group that can use our help takes a distinctly Massachusetts approach to the crisis of veteran suicide. As you heard earlier today, the Skate for the 22 Foundation, which takes its name from a study estimating that as many as 22 veterans take their own lives every day in the United States, recognizes the therapeutic value in the game of ice hockey and provides veterans with free hockey equipment, ice time, and team games. In turn, participating veterans are asked to volunteer for fundraising events and other veteran outreach programs to let other struggling veterans know that they are not alone, introduce, introduce them to some of the resources we have for them in the state. These groups are testaments to the fact that our veterans never stop serving our country, whether in uniform or not. It is up to each one of us to do our part to let our veterans know that we appreciate their sacrifices and that we have their backs when they come home. To learn more about the Glenn Darty Memorial Foundation, visit www.glendartyfoundation.org. To learn more about the Skate for the 22 Foundation, please visit their website at www.skatefor22.com. To learn more about other opportunities to give back to our veterans, please contact my office at michael.day at mahouse.gov or by calling me at 617-722-2582.